All right, what's good, YouTube? Prince here, back with another video. It's been years, not really, but uh, yeah, I've been mostly uh, haven't really been uploading on YouTube. You can catch me on Twitch. I do stream a fair amount. I do stream kind of often. Mostly st been streaming Tekken and Final Fantasy XII playthrough recently, but uh, just wanted to do a somewhat quick commentary video on uh, rank matches, Dragon off Raijin to Yaksa. So, Alright, let's just get into the match. Down two. Uh, honestly, like, I'm not sure if many people share this idea, but uh, one of the first things is when I'm playing a rank match, and this goes for any fighting game, this isn't even just a Tekken thing. Like, when I'm playing ranked, and like, you know, you load into the screen and it shows you uh, kind of like their stats or how many matches they have played on the character tied to their rank. I noticed that when I see, like, for instance, you'll see right here, 2,602 wins on Lily Raijin. Now, I don't mean this in a disrespectful way or anything like that, but 2,602 wins is enough wins to be at, like, true Tekken God Prime. Like, more than enough wins to be a true Tekken God Prime. So when I see that, when I see any rank that's, like, a thousand wins and up, but it's lower than Tekken King or Emperor, it gives me the impression that this person may be fluctuating in rank, they're not that solid, they're not really too keen on matchup knowledge, and they might be pressing buttons, or not. they're not too good in a clutch. Typically, 90% of the time, I'm not saying all the time, but 90% of the time, that's just what it means. Um, no disrespect to anybody that's watching this video, maybe you have like a ton of matches or a ton of wins but your character is only in, in like, I don't know, uh, Eternal Ruler. But uh, what rank really is, is rank is supposed to be a representation of your matchup knowledge and your fundamentals. If you have good fun, if you have strong core fundamentals, and this goes for any fighting game, if you have strong core fundamentals and you have high key matchup knowledge, like if you have good matchup knowledge on at least 80% of the characters in the game, and you have strong fundamentals, which go hand in hand, you shouldn't really have a problem ranking up in any fighting game, let alone Tekken, especially Tekken, because I know people want to like to talk and say, oh, this is a legacy game, but I kind of want to say yes and no. Like, it doesn't really take that long, in my opinion, to like close the gap compared to other fighting. Well, it does take a long time, but if you just practice learning labbing matchups, and putting the time, you you should find success. But uh, damn, I haven't been even saying shit into the match. I've just been ranting. I'm not even sure how long to do commentary on this. Like, I think I'll just rant or just talk on stuff that's happening in the match. I mean, if this is your first time watching, I don't have a main character in this game. I kind of just play whatever character I feel like playing, and I just rank them up. Like, what is this? Dragon off Raijin, a hundred and I can't even see is that a hundred and twenty six or is that a hundred and thirty six wins? And then I see Lily Raijin, two thousand six hundred and two wins. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it you shouldn't have you shouldn't need to have that many matches played to rank up. Like, typically, like when I see stuff like that, I'm like, okay, if I see low amount of wins, high rank, I assume that the person is solid or at least has decent fundamentals and knows what they're doing. and has some knowledge on most matchups at least 60 to 70 percent uh let me let me try and like actually do real commentary let me let, let me see let me let me let me do real commentary all right one one three blocks that all right launch punish that is what minus 20 on block lily's back turn down three plus four gives great oki and hits but uh pretty bad on block all right four four three he did not respect the Plus frames, Dragonos four four three on block is like what? Plus plus eight, plus nine, plus ten. Either way, you should be pressing a button if you block that. Okay, sidestep. Uh, Lily is a character I really strongly know the matchup for. I mean, I play this. Like I said, I play like a ton of characters, and Lily's one. Lily was one of the characters I picked up towards the end of Tekken Tag Two. So, well versed in the Lily matchup. I know this guy kind of doesn't really like to block that much. I mean, he'll block, but uh, he won't always. Maybe he doesn't know the frame data, but sometimes he he kind of disrespects frame data. 
break the one throw right there. I don't know where why I didn't punish. That's like minus 12. Lily's a 3-1. Okay, no whiff punish. Uh, you hate to see it. He whiffed down. He whiffed back turn down three plus four in front of me. No whiff punish. Don't do that. All right, back into this spacing. Okay, that forward forward two power crush. That's minus 15 on block unless they change it. So if you block that, make sure to launch it. Make sure to do a better punish than jab. I don't know what that was. Maybe that was an input error. Okay, I did the up forward four on his wake up because uh, he likes to do get up kicks and that Dragon House up forward four beats get up kick options. And uh, I don't know why I didn't get the duck on Lily's wall rising one two string, but the second hit is a high. You can easily just duck that. She whiffs forward forward two again. Not a good whiff punish, but it's better than nothing. Now, I don't know why I did the power crush after he blocked that uh, charge. Because I'm at like plus 10. Like, there's nothing he, uh, Lily could have done or pressed. Not even if he tried a Matterhorn. Alright, block soul. See, I like that. Uh, a lot of people, some people, when they block Dragon Ball's wall running 2, they'll try and sidestep to avoid the pressure because it is uh, plus 5 to plus 6 on block. So I didn't up forward 4 to catch her sidestepping. Still lost the round, but you know, smart stuff. I didn't get the 1 plus 2 break, like, I should have got it, but a lot of times when I try and break 1 plus 2 throws, instead of pressing my macro button for 1 plus 2, I try and press both buttons at the same time, so sometimes that happens. Okay, I tried ducking the second in wall rising 1, 2, but uh, I don't know if I did it too early or if it clipped me. Oh, beautiful punishment. Whiffs, I slide in for the full, uh, wall rising 2. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, alright. Revenge match, okay. I don't know, I'm not really too versed on doing commentary. I don't really think I do commentary in most of my Tekken videos. I think I just upload the video and I just let it play out. No commentary, just just nothing. So, as you can see, we got that S tier throw countering. You know, I'd be breaking throws. I'd be breaking throws. Like, if you're trying to rank up in this game, you got to break, you got to practice throw breaking. Practice your throw breaking, practice matchup knowledge. And you should be straight, honestly, after that. You know, I mean, just don't do anything too. Just try and avoid doing dumb things. Like, I'm going to try and point it out in this match if I see any dumb shit happening that shouldn't be happening. And typically, when I mean don't try and don't do dumb shit, I mean sometimes I'll see players doing playing solid. Like, that was a beautiful whiff punish on my down four, too. That was a beautiful hop kick whiff punish. That was great, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like that. I like seeing stuff like that. But like, sometimes I'll see players and they're playing great, and then out of nowhere they'll take a huge risk that they don't need to, and it just ends up with them just losing. Like, she was playing real solid at first. Okay, I eat the rage drive. I'm pretty sure I'm dead for this. Yep. Hmm, styling with a four, four, three plus four. Okay. A lot of people don't really like Lily. I actually do like the character. Now, he blocked the down forward 2, which is like minus 12, but no punish. Like, you gotta punish everything. Like, not just the things that are like super negative, like launch punchable. You gotta punish everything. All the damage adds up. Nice sidestep 3. Root of Evil. I back up. I, I guess I got caught stepping or backdashing or backdash canceling. Ate a down forward 3 plus 4. Is up two rounds. All right. I don't know. Is it just me, or does like some players get a oh, beautiful whiff punish on my part? Whiff punishing the back turn one plus two. All right. Interrupt that. She's not plus off the wall rising three. She tries to do a spring get up kick, and again tried to do another low get up kick. If I were to up forward four right there, that would have been another combo. Like that's typically the stuff I'm I'm talking about. Like this player, like a lot of players online, I feel that they're stuck in the ranks that they're stuck in based off the fact that they just flow chart like they just go into a sequence I don't know where was my punish but they just go into a sequence and they're not really paying attention to what their opponents doing they're just paying attention to what they're doing like that was three uh, low get up kicks in a row like like some people just don't learn 
Shout out to my nigga Freelaw. He, he encountered that same shit playing Street Fighter Five on stream or some shit. Alright, we're in the neutral. I do down for it too. He blocks it. No punish. So, if I see that somebody's not punishing something, I'm just going to keep throwing the move out. Because why not? If it hits, I get a launch. If it's blocked, he's not punishing for some reason. So, that's fine. When you punish, you take your turn back. Punish the 4, 2, 3. It's minus 12. He does not break. His throw breaking is pretty weak, so I realized that. So I decided to just go for a 1 plus throw. 1 plus 2 throw. Nice Matterhorn. Bad combo. Uh, bad whiff punish. So I decided not to challenge because he could Matterhorn afterwards. It's a typical online Lily setup. I float the 3 plus 4, convert it to a combo. Baby combo. <laughs> Not big anything like that. Wall bounce. Oof. What's the grab? Interrupt the 1, 2, 3 plus 4 string. Wait, was this a straight uh, reverse 3 0? Yeah, this was a reverse 3 0. Oh, since that was a reverse 3-0, I, I just wanted to sneak in this little clip of a of another reverse 3-0. Like, he left after that, but you know, I don't really blame him, it's whatever. Oh, there we go, reverse 3-0 right here again. Uh, this player, uh, we actually played a longer set. Like, I might consider uploading the rest of the matches. Uh, he played great, honestly. I think he was like Tekken King or something, whatever. Played great, made a couple mistakes, but it is what it is. I know the Raven matchup. I think this was our last match in the set. I think after this one he left. Punished the getup kick with 4-1. He decided to challenge while being negative. 1 and 2. Eats down 2. Like, I don't really know. I don't really know how to make commentary too interesting. I hope, like, this isn't putting anybody to sleep. But like what I was like saying earlier, like sometimes I'll like see people play great, and then they'll start just doing YOLO stuff, and then it gets blocked, they get punished, they get put in a combo, they get okey, they die. You know, it's best like when you're winning, like it's best like not to really risk anything too big. Aj gets blocked. He kind of blocked it at the very tip, so I didn't. I tried. I decided not to press anything. I don't know why that whiffed. Yo, Dragonoff has no mids. Eats a back four. Actually, I remember the whole set. He did not duck that. The, he did not duck the uh, last hit of back four. Two one. Okay, we get the pickup here. Going to wall. Or not? Doesn't matter. We're still going to the wall. Hmm. Now I did that throw because a lot. A lot of times in our set, I remember he would try and parry in those certain situations like that. So I just went for a one plus two throw. Perfect. I that was the end of our set. He left there, and then this was my promotion match. I believe I played this Kuma player earlier. I beat him. He left. Yeah, it's really funny. You ever just beat somebody, then they refuse the revenge match, and then you just run into them again just to beat him again. That's pretty much what happened here. Good stuff to everybody I played though uh, during this uh, rank set. Alright, punish. Like, Kuma, Kuma has a lot of unsafe moves. Punish the getup kick. Getup kicks. Getup mid kicks are minus 12 if their feet are facing you. Whiff punishes my forward forward four, but bad combo. That was, whatever. He still, he still takes the round. It's whatever. Not, no tech on the grab. Uh oh. Launch down for uh, down for Akuma's uh, down. I said Akuma. <laughs> no, Akuma's down for two one string is minus sixteen on block. So make sure you launch that when you block it. That was supposed to be wall rising too, but I got an input error. I I don't know if it was lagging a little bit, but it skipped my input of two and just went straight to me jab pressing one. We float him in the air. He tries. I think he tried going for a. Uh, 
don't know what he tried going for. Maybe he tried going for up four three four. I don't know. I don't think it was a hop kick. I think it was something else. All right, punish. I mean that if you block that low, that is a launch punishable. At least minus seventeen on block. Pretty sure even Anna can launch it. I think. Pretty sure Anna can launch that. Lock that. That string is, well, launch punishable, but it's at least minus 16. For those that want to know, if you care about that stuff. Which, I don't really know. I think most people that play this game don't really care about that or whatnot. I'm just saying based on how people play this game. Because I'd be seeing people swing while they're negative, so I'm like, alright, people don't care. Just nothing but whip punishment, honestly. Like, I can't really say too much about this match. Down two. Size is down on the ground, so I went for up for three. No punish on Wild Rising 2. Very late whiff punish, but whatever. I decided to just, you know, get up. I wasn't really respected him. Key charged. Here you go, Yaksa promotion. Alright, uh.